Welcome back to Site Tech in Your Mountains, SiteWorks training videos. In this video today, I want to do a quick video on how to set up a fixed height tripod. The infamous Trimble fixed height tripod. Love it or hate it, this bad boy has uh, saved my bacon a couple times, but they are definitely not something that you'd want to have to set up every day. I prefer the actual pole that you can plant into the ground that has the 5 8 all thread on the top or just an all thread on a fence. But this video today real quick is to show you maybe some proper ways to set this up. Now, no hate mail or death threats or anything. I understand that it's pretty basic, but there's probably a couple ways to do it. I'm just gonna give you a couple tips uh, to look out for so that you have consistency every day. One thing is when you put it in the bag, I usually find that I take the point off right here and put it in the side pouch because when it's on, and it's in the bag, it usually tries to poke out the other side. And remember that in your bag, you also have the extra um, meter of extension that you can put on the top right here. But I'm going to go through a couple setup processes and a couple things to watch out for, like your bubble. And also, when you slide this out, um, since it's in meters, after we set this up real quick, I'm going to show you how in your, when you set your base on there, how you can actually key in specific heights if you're not sure what the conversion is. So let's go ahead and set it up. First things first, I always just screw the point on, and then I'm gonna set the height that I want. So I spin this, I pull out the little pin right here, and I loosen this nut right here to where I can slide it out. You don't wanna just try to crank this down at whatever height you think of here. If you look on here, there's a pin hole for 1.5 meters, there's one for 1.8, and there's one for two. My opinion is two meters is pretty high. It makes the base really high, and at the same rate, 1.5 meters seems like it makes the base really low. So I, I personally just go with the 1.8 meter. And there again, you got this little pin that pins right here. I go ahead and slide it out, push that pin in, and crank that all the way up, and then tighten this right here. So that basically that 1.8 M is right at the bottom. And that's where we're going to key in the number on the base later on. So once I have that set, you can go ahead and stand it up. And what you're going to notice on the top right here is you've got two that have the actual handles that you can squeeze and one that does not. So I'm going to determine where my point is. My point is right here in the concrete. If you have a pin, hub, whatever it is. And what I'm going to do is slide out the two that have the bars on here. And I'm going to kick them out. Now, another thing is to keep in mind, don't put your legs like this. Don't put them just straight up and down. It's going to blow over really easy. And don't kick them way, way far out there. That's just too much. Plus, you'll get a bounce in the bar right here. Just kind of pick something that's a nice angle. And always remember to kick them in if you have it on the dirt. The next side is to slide up, slide this one down. And then I pull on this one and I loosen these bars and pre-slide them down to a certain point and then tighten these. So these are all the way down to where they're bottomed out here. Then you can grab these bars at the top and slide these down. This one obviously is in asphalt. This one I'm going to kick into the material. Now the other thing to keep in mind is don't lose your mind over go looking at this bubble at this point because you're still going to hang stuff on it and it may get it out of level. But I do just kind of get it close. One thing that I've learned over the years is these little clamps right here that you squeeze to actually make it to where it can slide up and down is just squeezing it and trying to push on the base. Sometimes these get sticky and they don't go very well. What I've learned is to squeeze them with both your hands and then kind of go like this and spin it while you're watching this bubble right here. And remember to leave the backside loose. So go ahead and actually level it up. At this point, you don't need to lose your mind over this bubble right here because you are about to hang a base on here and it may put it out of level. But one thing that you gotta keep in mind is once you actually level this up right here, remember is your bubble can get off here just like it can on any of your poles in general. So the one way to check that is level the bubble up, get it as close to level as you can with it facing you. And then once it's leveled, just spin this whole bar 180 degrees and look at the bubble again and see where it's at. If it's way, way out, more than halfway out, you'll actually need to grab an Allen wrench. You'll need to come under here and actually fix this by actually changing the bubble right here. But you don't want to have something that's up really high like this. And if you level it here, but then spin it, actually to re-level it may shift the base just a little bit. So... Just get it as close as you can. While you're hanging everything up here, tighten these two set screws, put the base on there, and then I'll show you one more time. Just make sure it's level, your points are kicked in, 
And that at one at the very, very end when you're all done, make sure that you're still inside your point at the bottom there. And then I'll show you how when you're setting your base up, that you don't have to actually take a tape measure and measure from the bottom to right here. You can actually use the numbers on the side right here to key in. So now that I've got my base set up on here, I've got my big whip antenna and I've got the base here, is the time to actually check the level one more time. Once you get your base leveled right here, you feel like the bubble's on and it's leveled, make sure one more time that everything's nice and tight. Come over here and tighten these set screws so that it won't move. Make sure it's kicked in. Just make sure before you do any of this that that's good to go. The other thing you can do at the top here is let's say that this port right here actually missed and was actually going to line up with this bar right here. You do have this little set screw right here that actually lets that brass cap come off the top. If you loosen this, you can actually pull the entire brass cap off the top, but what it'll also do is let you uh, arrange this right here to where none of those ports line up where you don't want it to. As soon as you're done, just snug that back up. The other thing to keep an eye on with these is there is a little hole right there that lines up with the back of the bases that you can actually hook the base right there so it's kind of down low. Um, the other thing I would suggest is that if you are not going to use your big whip antenna and you put just the small duck antenna out the back here, when you hook it up down low here and have the antenna here, that antenna is really, really low to the ground. So that may not be good for you. And you don't want to tip the antenna straight out. You either want it straight down or straight up. So there is one thing that you could do. It's maybe not designed for it, but you could take this little hook on the back right here and hook it on the actual strap, which would get it a little bit higher. I've done that also. But if you're on a pretty good job size job site, just go ahead and use your big whip antenna. When you're setting your base up, like I said earlier, you don't have to measure the height right there. When you're setting your base up, giving its position either on a control point, lat long, uh, unknown, whatever it is, there's a receiver height. Where is this receiver? And remember, you got to keep in mind that are you setting this over a known control point that has an elevation? Or are you setting the base up unknown? So if I was first time setting this up and it was just an unknown job site, I might leave it at zero if I'm never going to actually associate. But right here, if I have an elevation, where this comes into play, remember that 1.8M that I have set right there, right there on the measured height. Bottom of antenna means that I'm bottom of the Zephyr there. I don't have a notch or anything else. If I don't know what 1.8M meters is in US survey feet, because that's how my job is set up is in US survey feet, you can type in that box 1.8 and put an M. So 1.8M and you can hit accept or you can hit that question mark right there and we'll once again show you what it's asking for. But 1.8M, it converts it for me. So it's 5.906 in US survey feet. So that's how you can actually get this height right. So at the end of the day, one more suggestion when you're tearing apart because it's kind of clunky and you don't want to tip it over and get that level out of play is what I do is I start over here with the one that has the two set screws. So I actually loosen both of these set screws keep my hand on it over here, slide this up, put it down in that little pocket down there, and then tighten these so that those will not come back out of there. So I start with that side, and then on this side, I will do the same thing. I will actually slide the bottoms up, tighten them all the way in, slide the bottoms up, tighten this all the way in, and then with your little handheld part right here, you can actually pull them up, put them down into those pouches, and then you're good to go. So those are nice and tight. And then at that point, I just kick it to the side and just kind of do everything in reverse. I loosen this right here, slide it out, pop out that little pin, throw the pin back into the pin holder right there so that's not slapping around. Slide it all the way down to where it's all the way in. Nice and tight right there. And then there again, you don't have to, but I have a habit of just taking the point off. And there we go. It's ready to go back in there. These, these can get really beat up and actually not be any good for you in the future. So even though it seems like such a small thing, I would take care of these for sure. But thank you for watching this video from Site Tickener Mountain on the Trimble Fixed Height Tripod and some suggestions on how to use these and maintain these.